test one, two, one, two, test. Wow. Test, test. Hello, test. Hey, Nismo. Are you using white color today? I, I'm white? using, trying to use like a neutral color, like the the one that's as like for the base. Right. If you're using white, I have something that I want to mix real quick. to be able to move up and down, right? I guess I kind of need to like a, need a zoom or something. I really need a zoom lens for this. I have a little phone camera zoom lens. It's not going to work. No, it won't work. It's fine, it's fine. Piaco, yeah, I'm gonna be messing around with the 3D pen tonight, just for a, just a short stream. I was just saying, uh, we kind of need a zoom for this. Hey, Seku. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I don't know about a cat. I'm just going to try to make a figure of a person to start off with. Uh, maybe another day we can do a cat. Um, 
okay. Why is this not working? Ah, oh, there we go. It wasn't plugged in. We gotta wait for it to get up to temperature. But first I need to try to repair this of little birthday cats a little bit. I don't, it, it may go to 200. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's see if we can get this to work. Let's get rid of this red first. I probably shouldn't be doing the spiral. Some of us may know what the spiral symbol is. Probably not a good idea. Are oh, you finished the watermelon? Peanut butter custard. Man, these, those, um... Those flavors, they sound peanut butter. I don't know how I'd feel about vaping peanut butter. <laughs> I mean, peanut, peanut butter's good, <laughs> but I don't know if I want to be vaping it. <laughs> I don't think this is going to work. Yeah, cause this isn't like glue. It's not going to stick to it. It's just going to come straight off. Just ate a cold pear. Pears are good. Hey, slam door. chair is so annoying like it doesn't like the um, the shock in it 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 doesn't hold I just I just keep sometimes I sink down fast sometimes I just sink down slowly I don't know I definitely can't get a Herman Miller I just need something cheap. It's just that they don't have anything cheap enough. And this power bank's annoying. It keeps turning off. The power bank, it's got like some sensor and if it's not pulling power out of it, it like turns off. I know that's a common problem with power banks or with some power banks anyway. to temp okay so yeah I just want to try and make like a, a 3d guy a 3d model a per model of a person oh you're getting a new chair Nismo whoa whoa What's happening here? Yo, this is weird. Why is this not working as normal? This is different. This is a different uh, material. Well, it's not one of the ones I've used before. Maybe I do need to turn up the heat.
and this is just some this is no not a fancy well it doesn't seem to be working properly why is it humming Okay, here we go, here we go. Let's turn it to 170. Yeah, no, it's in, it's in. Was it gonna try to make some sort of 3D guy? Let's cut it, cut it off, and uh, feed a new piece in. doesn't seem to be as good as the other filament that I was using. I don't know if the temperature, I need to change the temp on it. wasn't like curling up like this. Maybe set the temperature. Yeah, I have, I have. Was the packing name differently? No. Okay. Before doing this, it had like uh it had stick to the It's uh, it's just all curling up. Maybe I try hotter. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's um, that's odd. Yeah, this is not working at all. This is really weird. Okay, okay. Okay. Yeah, maybe this stuff needed to be hotter. Do I do commissions? <laughs> um, this is like the third time that I've used this and I'm not good at art. So, it's gonna be like watching a five-year-old uh, use one of these things. Yeah, the, the other stuff would stick to the table a bit better, whereas this stuff's not sticking at all. I did not expect this. It's at 190 degrees Celsius. Hey, HK Joe. I'm not really sure um, what to do now. Turn it even higher. It's at 190 degrees Celsius. Yeah, even the other material, it can be 200 times. Uh-huh. Make a cube? Well, I'm, I was trying, I'm gonna try, hey, where'd that, where'd the other, where'd my other piece of creation go? I was trying to make some feet. Yo, this is... Yeah, this is weird. This is, this is getting, this is actually more difficult than I was hoping. Um... Maybe this surface is too slippery. Yeah, let's, I'm not gonna make a cube. I've already made, I've made this. Maybe this, it might stick better on here. Let's try. Yeah, it like cur it curls up. That is really strange. Yeah, it's not it's not sticking sticking to the surface. But this is yeah, this is different stuff than what I've been using previously. Let's try 200 200 degrees. than the other filament that I was using. You make a cube. Using 160 the other one it was fine. Now 
Nah, man. If I, if I, it, if I can't even, like, make it something on a flat surface, then I'm gonna have problems making a cube even. I didn't expect that it would be different than the other material. Two hundred seems okay. I'm still kind of learning how the thing works. Let's just make a base here for the two feet whatever it's gonna be. Hey, soft drink. Oh yeah, it, it, it doesn't work to repair your thing because it, it's not like glue. It just comes straight off it. Yeah, yeah. It, it doesn't stick. It just slip straight off. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't stick. But if you make the thing, I could glue it off. Yeah, maybe. It's just the, the plastic shattered and I'm missing a bit. Right, right. I wouldn't imagine that the uh, filament or whatever is expensive. I would imagine it's pretty cheap. Uh, fix all chip corners on walls. It'd just fall off. It doesn't stick. two little mounds here. Some guy was going around fixing stuff. Yeah, I, I haven't watched any videos on how to do it. I think I just want to work it out by myself. At the moment anyway.
Okay, okay. We'll just do a, each one bit by bit. Yeah, they've made some, uh, I've seen on Instagram, some people have made amazing things with these uh, 3D pans. <laughs> How do I make Gachi? So I'm just making two feet, some ankles perhaps, hopefully uh, turn them into legs. But yeah, I'm still learning how to use this thing. Cat boots. They would be kind of uncomfortable cat boots. They'd be like not flexible <laughs> and very hard. Oh, Can you let him out? Oh, I've seen lots of It's Always Sunny. I saw like the first five, six seasons. But it was quite a while ago. I think I saw it up to where Mac got fat. Cat armor? That'd be interesting. I don't remember the kitten's mittens. Cats wearing armor. It might be Porgers. Hey, look who look who's here. Yesterday I saw I saw an American talking loudly. I asked him to tone it down a bit. Hey Andy, how are you man? 
Hope you guys are well. How's uh, how's the COVID in Taiwan? Are you still guys? Are you guys still good over there? It picked up here, and we we've got like a we have to wear masks everywhere when we're out. Yeah, compulsory mask wearing everywhere now in Hong Kong. At least for another five days anyway. I think two weeks total they were doing it. It's all good? Yeah, Taiwan is good with uh, that. They crack down real fast. Problem with Hong Kong, they're letting people like come and go or they're letting some business business people come and go willy-nilly I'm just trying to build it up here for the legs. Yeah, there's not even real people. Yeah, the, no real people can come. I was reading an article today how people, like Hong Kong residents are like stranded in India, they can't come back. And I know my neighbor a couple of doors down, ha they have a business in Philippines and they've been gone for months. I don't think they can come back. Yeah, I saw the, I saw the domestic helper thing. I did see that Indonesian domestic helper and she wouldn't tell it, wouldn't, she wouldn't reveal where she'd been in the last 10 days or something. It's like, what? I think the problem was with the with those uh, people from the uh, what do you call them container ships and stuff. I think that's how it uh, it took off, where they were just letting people from container ships come in. to get rid of these strands. Yeah, a whole bunch of people poggers, yep. It's crazy. Yeah, they're letting all that happen, but yet you can't exercise in the countryside without a mask. It's like where it matters, they're not taking the right precautions, and where it doesn't matter, they're cracking down. Yeah, now they get 4k a month, I think it is. And you know, yeah, hey, let's not, I don't want to go on about it, I just get angry. That's a domestic helper's salary, 4,000 4, Hong Kong dollars a month. Yo, what just happened?
I should have made these uh, two much further apart. Pretty sure China's paying uh, domestic helpers now 10k a month. That was what I'd last heard, compared to 4k in Hong Kong. Nah, they don't pay rent. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's terrible. It, but it's been like that forever. Or, you know, they're supposed to live... You're supposed to provide a room in your house for them. But a lot of the time, they just go stay in boarding houses when they finish work, which is illegal. And that's probably how a lot of this spread. But, you know, it's been like... It's been going on like this for the, forever. I don't know if they'll ever crack down on that. I mean, some maids do have good employees, but a lot, uh, it's terrible. Yes, yeah, slept in the same room as the little sister. Yeah, I believe it. A lot are treated very poorly. These ones are stuck pretty good. I will be able to get them off, but I should have uh, made them further apart because I just want to make the try to make the legs first. Maybe one day, Seku. Right, Porgas, right. do have good employers but yeah a lot it's like they get treated and many just get treated like slaves unfortunately it's real sad paying 20,000 I can tell you now <laughs> no maid gets paid 20,000 some maids may get paid a few thousand extra that is that definitely could would happen but not <laughs> no one would be getting paid 20,000 yeah I don't know how 4k is even legal you know, it's ridiculous. But then again, it's more money than they can... Well, not, not that that's any excuse, but it's more money that they can earn back in their own country. But that doesn't mean it's right. It all depends on the employer tip. It all depends on the employer. 
Some have very nice employers, some don't. Alright, we've kind of got two feet here. Right, okay, Porgus. Yeah, possibly. But yeah, everything, a lot of, when it comes to domestic helpers, a lot of stuff here is very shady. Very, very shady. human trafficking not quite more like slave labor you know a lot of maids get physically abused it's yeah it's all really bad Yeah, they cook food and sell it, which is also illegal. Oh, hi, Doki. I'm trying to learn how to use this 3D pen. I'm just trying to make two feet, <laughs> two feet with some legs. But I'm, I'm very bad at art. F the loser, hi. I, I'm just trying, this is the third time I've used this. I'm very bad at this. Thanks, Porgas. Yeah, Doki, Doki Doki lives in Saikung and she also streams. Doki Doki would probably be very good at this. She is super talented. Yeah, little birthday cat bought it for me on Tobo. Oh. Yeah, I bet she would be able to make some really cool stuff. So I'm just trying to build two feet and some legs <laughs> to start off with. Yeah, I'm sure they're not very expensive. Add the body. <laughs> I don't think the body's ready. <laughs> it would be a strange looking, uh, what am I making? Well, one of the M&M characters. <laughs> what, am I, what am I making, Humpty Dumpty? I want to give it, I want to make its legs a little bit more. Uh, Rich67, thanks for following. But yeah, I'm, like I said, I'm very bad artist. I'm very bad at art. And I still not very familiar using this thing. I'm still learning. I don't know how much any of this was. My girlfriend bought it for me. But I would imagine that the the filament it c shouldn't be very expensive because you go through quite a lot of it. I think. Hey, why is it not working? Oh, it's getting up to temperature. The power went off, so I have to wait for the temperature to get to the right uh, right heat. I think it was around 400 with everything. Oh wow. Wow, so it's very, really pretty good price. Yeah, it's not bad. Like, we have a, I got a lot of this stuff, a lot of this filament. I have, I got a whole box full. 30 colors, maybe? I'm not sure, I haven't counted.
I can show you quickly if you want to get an estimation of the price. I got all this. I got a lot. 400 Hong Kong dollars for the pen and all this. Yeah, not bad at all. I probably could watch some tutorials on YouTube, but I thought I just want to try to see if I can do it by myself without looking up any instructions or anything yet. Yeah, not bad. From Tobo. Got it from Tobo. Yeah, 50 colors. 50, well, 50 rolls. I don't know if there's 50 oh, colors. Yeah, 50 rolls, and each would be 10 meters, each roll. Uh-huh. So yeah, I'm just learning how to do it, you know. I'm no, I'm, obviously, obviously I'm just learning, I'm not very good at it. No, I'm not gonna make the Eiffel Tower, no. Let's make it a little taller. I kind of feel like I want to pick it up and do it. And make the legs a little fatter. <laughs> the Burj Khalifa. The Mir Khalifa. <laughs> oh, you use a 3D printer? I bet that works pretty well. That would be way more professional, you know, and very precise. Whereas this, it's all up to the user. Uh, they are like 35 colors to choose from, but I skip all the neon colors. Yep. Just get the basic ones. What am I making? I'm gonna, I'm making two feet and legs. I don't really, there's no end goal here. I'm just trying to make two feet and legs at the moment. This is the third time, this is the most I've used the pen so far. So yeah, I don't know entirely how to do this properly. We're just kind of learning as we go.
My chair keeps sinking. I need a new chair badly. Okay, the feet, the legs are probably coming up to nearly long enough. What do you mean at my age? What are you talking about? Hey AJ, I, <laughs> I drank lots of uh, Monster and vapes. <laughs> Actually, I haven't vaped all stream. It does look tit, that's exactly what I was thinking. I was thinking that exactly, it looks like it's gonna be a mummy. try to see I, I wouldn't mind trying to pull one of these off and holding it hey Mandelbam <laughs> I'm taking robots jobs, I know. <laughs> watching Cell Sun and he's in Brooklyn and like so many tree big tree branches have been blown off the trees and stuff he said he'd never seen anything like it before Six kilometer an hour winds. Whoa, man, that is crazy. I need to repair his foot a bit. There's also like a little soldering pen as well where you can sort of um, clean it up afterwards. Yeah, yeah, you 
definitely need that, yeah. Hey, this is this is kind of working all right. We're doing okay here. Can I see? Can I see? Sure. Oh. Is it gonna be a mummy? I think the cat went to the toilet. It stinks it? in here. I think it stinks in here. I, I need to check the cat toilet. I'll be right back. <laughs> Marshmallow man. True. True. Looks all right. Oh, I'm back. <laughs> the marshmallow man. Michelin man. Marshmallow man. Make a basic figure, a raw figure to start off with. It's looking pretty good. Hey Santo. <laughs> Many good suggestions. It's a bit lopsided, but it's okay. Let's see if we can get this other piece off. Ah, uh, it's, I don't know how much it is. It's cheap. You can probably check on Tobo to find out how much it is. just this is on here it comes off easy it just sticks a bit to the cutting board
yeah, it's not expensive. Let's uh, make this leg a little bit thicker. Ah, uh, nah, it doesn't actually, because I don't think it's burning it, it's just heating it up. There's no, like, smoke or anything like that. There is a, t you know, now and then there's a tiny bit of smell, but it's actually alright. Let me repair, let me repair his foot a little bit here. It is at 200, um, 200 Celsius. Let me turn it down a little bit now. Let's go back to 180. Someone made a mold of their own hand. It'd be a bit hot to put it on your skin, I would imagine, if that's what they did. Let's let's uh, let's not be too vulgar in here, all right? Seven US per kilo. It's 180 degrees Celsius. I, it was at 200, now it's 180.
yeah, I imagine it's a different material. 60 doesn't seem very warm at all. I'm surprised it even can work at 60. Or you mean 600? Hang on, 600 wouldn't be... No, it wouldn't be 600. <laughs> Oh, 60, I see. Yeah, 60 doesn't seem that hot at all. Jump Jai, hi. The other material is 175, I see. I'm not sure what material this is. Polylactic plaque, polylactic plaque, polylactic acid plastic. Yeah, 60, like you, when you have a shower, it would be warmer than 60 degrees, I would think. Like, 60 is not that warm, is it? Nah, 60 is, water boils at 100. You know? And people, people live where it's 40 degrees. It hurt, 60 is hot. <laughs> Are you sure? go in the sauna up to 80 degrees, don't they? I don't know. <laughs> A shower, 35. Nah, man. That can't be right. Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. to let the cat back inside. Come on. Come on. Yeah, yeah, check how check how hot they get. Uh, 
Uh, I want to make them a little bit taller. Ah, uh, yeah, I do. I do journey started, yes. I think some people just make like a... Like a big ball or something and then use the soldering iron to add detail and stuff. Kind of like a carving tool even. I guess so. I have it set to 50, and 50 is pretty hot. Just like the hot water, if it's on 50, that is kind of hot. at 200 I think 180 might not be quite hot enough let's try 190 the default setting on the pen was 190 when I first turned it on yeah our hot water is gas it's probably something sim might be something similar to yours I'm not sure Okay, 190 seems pretty good. The hottest one's 42 to 45. Okay, okay, yeah, that seems about right. With the hot water on 50, you can't really put your hand under it for too long. That makes sense. Yeah, mine is continual hot water. We got continual hot water gas here. There's no tank. Oops. Okay, 
There's one of these in the bathroom as well. This one's for the kitchen. The one in the bathroom isn't set to 50, I don't think though. Probably 48 or something. Uh, yeah, you got a bath. We don't have a bath. That's, we don't have a bath. Okay, I can nearly think about um, joining these together somehow. I wonder if uh, I need to... Yeah, right. Yeah, I haven't had a bath in... Oh my god. Not for so long. I don't even, I don't fit in a bath though, so, <laughs> I don't quite fit in a bath. It'd have to be giant bath. clean it. Oh god, a shower and toilet combined? Yeah, I don't want to live in a place. I know it's common, but yeah, I don't think I can handle that. I was like, I don't want to cut the cutting, the cutting board. <laughs> Let's not cut your fingers either. right now. I'm not okay. I'm just taking it easy. Mm, let me try something here. random stuff. <laughs> I'm 
just letting it get back up the temperature. Sanic the Hedgehog. Oh yeah, I got blue. I got lots of colors of filament. I have many color. Yeah, you can probably paint them, I would imagine. <laughs> I don't know if they have the emote, I don't know. this piece to join them join it together I don't know what is that emote I wonder yeah I got a stash of filament exactly Hey, they just they just probably want to talk to you man that's okay AJ they probably miss their son their favorite son DNS. Um, I just use the DNS provided by the ISP. Does that make sense? Do I know what I'm talking about?
I know a lot of people use Google if they Cloudflare. <laughs> what? Yeah. So we join the legs together. That's something. Ah, it got stuck. Yeah, at first I was worried about using, like wasting the coil, the filament, but yeah, I think it's so cheap, uh, it's no problem. Did you guys, I made this the other day. I made this guy the other day. His arm broke though. His arm just broke recently. I guess I could use this. I guess I could like make this 3D. You, oh, you, I guess you could draw the um, draw the outline and then like build it up. I guess that's possible. Huh? That's that is possible. <laughs> A stoner. <laughs> I also made the an Illuminati pyramid. We were at 200 Nismo, but we're down to 190, back down to one, 190. These were like my first, well this, to be honest, this was like my second attempt. The first attempts we just uh, got a feel for it.
Um, yeah, you... If uh, Porgas or AJ permit you, I think you can link it, but I won't be able to watch it now. But some people on IG liked my uh, Instagram post of those things that I did, and yeah, they're really good artists. They've done some amazing work with a 3D pen. Totally amazing. Uh, exclamation permit and then the person's name not per my <laughs> per my <laughs> yeah where was it yo yosamite Yosemite. Pokemon. Poor Trunt never gets a break. Hey, I win. Yeah, I heard he was streaming on Twitch. He was on YouTube, then he went back to Twitch, allegedly. Was streaming with Dr. Lupo or something? I did hear that. Ninja in 2020, please. I don't know, I thought I read somewhere that he may have some Hollywood deal as well, Ninja. I don't know what it was about though. Did Shroud ever stream again or is he gone now? Is he taking a break? of independence cat videos yeah. the person in the link mm -hmm. ah he's on YouTube I see I see Cute cats. yeah I've heard people talking about Fall Guys but I haven't watched any of it yet PC full guys Yeah, yeah, I'll, ch I'll check it out man. Thank you Yeah, there's amazing artists out there man
wondering how long these uh, 3D pens last for. Hopefully they last a decent amount of time. Yeah, we just got to, we're just chilling tonight, you know, just taking it nice and uh, mellow. Thought thought I'd put on some uh, relaxing music, keep the mood nice and chill. Hi Mike, thanks for following. It's uh, like uh, Tit was saying earlier, it's kind of going to be like the mummy. I mean, uh, we're kind of just making the frame, I guess. We could add clothing later, I guess. This is just the naked, the naked uh, frame. <laughs> Interchangeable hats and cats. The blue dude looks like the dad from Rugrats. I'm not sure what, that's just something I drew without really thinking. I wasn't trying to copy anything. And I, I'm not familiar with Rugrats. But thank you. Hey, Cynistics. Are we gonna give the mummy a bit of a badunka dunk? HK Joe, I'll try.
It's a lengthy process though, it's going to take some time. <laughs> Print on that glute. <laughs> glute, glute, glutimus maximus. What if he has three glutes? <laughs> Whoops. Hi, Tom Tom. Is it that time again? What's up, buddy? What up? What's going on? What's, what are you meowing for? Maybe he is just happy to see me. I'm working on it. It's going to take a little bit of time. It's a lengthy process. Hey, Zero. Well, I got this 3D pen, so I'm uh, trying to learn how to use it. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It takes a little bit to get used to it, but I think we're uh, slowly getting the hang of it. <laughs> Chick legs and flat ass. <laughs> That's okay. He's just saying his legs are like that.
Oh, you're learning airbrush? Wow. Whenever you see airbrush art, it's like, whoa, that stuff is cool. Hang on. We're tangled up. I've painted some Warhammer before. I love that. That's that's really good fun. I never actually got around to playing Warhammer, but I used to love painting the miniatures. I had an orc army. Yeah, Warhammer miniatures are really cool. Had like a had like a clamp and a magnifying glass and stuff. I wonder if I still got them packed away in storage. I wonder. Maybe that's something I could get back into as well. It's, yes, it's, it's super, I can't even imagine the price of what that stuff would be now. I had like the games workshop paint, all that stuff. Especially when you got like the lead or whatever material figures. I got a few lead figures, but a bunch of plastic ones, I guess. But yeah, it's definitely overpriced. Unfortunately. Yeah, dioramas. Yeah, man. That's that's really cool, dude. That's really cool. I remember like using like uh, sp cutting sponges and stuff, painting the sponges. Wait, there there was a Warhammer movie. Oh, hang on, no. Wait. Oh, no, it was a World of Warhammer. World of Warcraft. Sorry, sorry. World of Warhammer. <laughs> World of Warhammer. Games Workshop, I wonder if that's uh, British. I wonder if that's British or American. Just uh, plug in this power bank to recharge it. What's up, buddy? You want some food? You want some extra biscuit or something? You want some more wet food? You want a little extra dinner? Wait, are you gonna 
to eat that or no? You're just going to sniff it and walk away. That's not right. Wow, we've been going for a bit and my, my power bank's still on full bars. Oh wow, Nottingham, where Robin Hood is from. <laughs> Robin Hood's a fictional character, though. <laughs> Sherwood Forest? Or at least I think Robin Hood's a fictional character. brother-in-law had a shop selling Warhammer well if you could get if you could get it all at wholesale price then that would be uh, much better but paying retail is pretty expensive I remember buying like uh, some uh, Warhammer miniatures that were like from previous releases that were a bit cheaper. Some anyway. <laughs> Nothing is real. Robin Hood men in tights. I don't know. Maybe Robin Hood was real. Maybe I'm getting mistaken with something else. Uh, he doesn't have the shop anymore, yeah. And you can get like fake, fake Warhammer stuff as well, but it doesn't really count, does it, if it's not the legit thing, the legit product. You don't think Robin Hood was a real person? Yeah, yeah. Quite possibly. But someone said there was, there was a grave for Robin Hood. Maybe, it, maybe it's a hoax. Ah, oh, thanks, Zero. Oh, you've never seen fake stuff? I remember a friend back in uh, South Australia had some fake stuff. And when he went to go play, they wouldn't let him play. Oh yeah, Tom Sawyer and Huck Finn, they were, they were from that author. Who was the author for those again, Porgers?
Yeah, I know, that's a bit mean. They wouldn't let him play. Because <laughs> he didn't have genuine Warhammer miniatures. He might be, he might end up a bit butt heavy. <laughs> or maybe it's a, maybe it's female, female mummy. Counter it with a big belly. I thought you were gonna say big chest. <laughs> so that's how. That's ah. Oh, it's all making sense now. You get the big chest and then the big uh, behind to counterbalance it. Hey, Luke Skywalker. Did I look? Did I see you in? Where do I know you from? Was that from Selson's stream or was it from here? I'm terrible. I got a bad memory. Ah, I thought so. I thought so. Welcome. Welcome back, should I say. Loosely based on an individual, right, right. Right, I see zero. <laughs> Thanks, man. I gotta, I gotta work between the legs somehow. This is a little more tricky. Keep that thigh gap though, right? Hey, and I, sh I shouldn't talk like that. I should behave. Obsessed reading about the history of Robin Hood. Cool. I, I, Robin, I love Robin Hood when I was a kid. Right, right, good point, controller Zen, very good point. Ah, the Kevin Costner movie, I vaguely remember that. Was that Men in Tights or was Men in Tights another one? I guess, I guess it was a different one. I definitely saw it though. I definitely did see that movie. There was a, I remember, I remember there used to be a really cool show called Robin of Sherwood. I did enjoy that as a kid. Robin of Sherwood. Uh, Men in Tights, is that that Mel, Mel Brooks? I forget, anyway.
Ah, yeah, the Mel Brooks one, yep. Oh, hi, fella. Did you eat your food? The Russell Crowe version was a less campy. I probably saw the Russell Crowe one. I don't quite remember. Hey, that's, uh, that's working out. I need to check, uh, how long we've been on, because the battery on my camera will probably go flat soon. interesting debate about if he was holding his arrow correctly in the film. Some historians believe they may have held the arrow on the inside while others say the outside. Right, I, I saw something more recently about that. I forget, I don't know if it was Mythbusters where on or just some other random video I saw Maid Marion? The one with Jamie Foxx. It rings a bell. Don't know if I saw it. What are you doing, Tom Tom? You playing with my feet? Hey, 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 hey. Ah, the YouTube channel Shad, Div Shad Diversity does an excellent piece about the archery debate. Wow, wow. Yeah, yeah, I, I have seen something about that not that long ago, about the whole uh, holding the arrow thing. AJ's gonna run for president in 2036? Good luck, AJ. Oh, ah, he's playing, ah, he's attacking my sock, ah! <laughs> Tom Tom, what's up with that? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Narsal. Maid Marion. I, I don't know. I may have seen some of that. I'm not sure. <laughs> He's never done that before. Hey, 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 hey. Did you eat the food? He attacked my foot. No, I was perfectly still. <laughs> right, Narsal. He's jealous. You might know my dad loves all that Robin Robin Hood stuff. As long as it's kind of serious, he likes the Robin Hood. I remember watching that stuff with him when I was a kid. Dude, I've seen that. I've seen that controller Zen. I remember having like, re we had like a reel to reel projector and we had that uh, Robin Hood with the animals. Robin Hood was a fox. The king was like a tiger or something, a lion. I still remember some of the music from it. Lil John was a big bear. I really like that. You've been to Sherwood Forest as a kid? Wow. wow. 
Yeah, controller. Yeah, I, I really love that. I'd like to see that again. Maybe that's something I can look up on YouTube. Robin Hood and Little John running through the forest. Oodalally, oodalally, golly, what a day. I still remember the song, yeah. Alright fella, alright, stop crying. I have been to the UK a few times as a kid. Don't know if we ever went to Sherwood Forest though. It's past my bedtime. It's uh, 9.30. 9.30 p.m. Maybe we've, maybe we've driven by Sherwood Forest possibly. Probably got only about 10 minutes left of battery though for to ah for tonight. Hey, that's hot. <laughs> we'll continue this off though. We'll continue the torso another day. Oh yeah, controller zen. Good point. Metal detecting there. It's fine, it's fine. I think we've done okay, man, for our first real go. We're doing all right. Maybe there's hope for us yet. Yeah, if they allow it, yeah, that's the thing. Let's fill in his groin, his or her groin a little bit, groin area. Thanks Luke Skywalker. Does she? Oh, I thought maybe it's too narrow for her. I was gonna put it up there at her spot. Perfect. Awesome. Yeah, this is kind of like meditation. It's nice and relaxing doing this. Especially with some nice mellow music happening. Good idea for evening streams. If you were a sculptor, random stuff. I'm sure you could do something. A man who makes potion and traveling show. Hey, Tom Tom, come on. Don't be like that. Don't be like that, fella.
Well, it's kind of looking like the mummy. Some sort of mummy. They said hands-on pottery was easy. I remember trying to pottery on the spinning wheel. I think that was in uh, high school. Am I going to paint it? I don't know. I might like do a layer, a colored layer on top. Who knows? Because I got lots of different colors. We're kind of just making the base, the frame. Let's uh, build up the front a little bit. If the battery dies, guys, we'll be ending. But I'll be back tomorrow. Back tomorrow for some more food. Come on, Tom Tom. He's just laying there. He's, that's what he does, Nikki. <laughs> it feels so insincere. and John I know those lyrics you were looking at these castles you can build brick by brick like like miniature size or like life life size real castles Battery's probably gonna die any second, guys, on the camera. <clears throat> I think we'll uh, end it here. But we actually managed something. We did manage something. Oh, mini castles? Sounds cool. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Who am I gonna raid? Ray in the city? Tech tourist? When Rad was cool? Travel buddy? Okay, okay, I'll come sort you out. I wouldn't mind, I might uh, go hang out with Tech Taurus for the rest of the night. We'll raid Ray another time. I gotta raid Ray one of these days. Thanks, Nassel, Controller Zen, Slamdoor, Sinistix. 
random stuff, of course. Luke Skywalker, kittens, zero. Thanks, guys. Good stuff. 